Following this, Oliver returned to his room and he noticed that his friend Pete was in pain. Pete had a nightmare and he was shaking in his bed. Afterwards, Oliver tried to ease his pain and he said that he will send mana into his body that will calm him down. Pete was feeling better, but he was nervous. Oliver explained to him that it is a healing art and he remembered that he used the spell when Shannon was pregnant. Afterwards, Oliver said that his body would get used to it and Pete realized that he had feelings for Oliver. The following morning, Pete told his friends the secret that he was a reversi. They congratulated him and Michelle planned to explain more about his new body during a gender switch. She cast a spell and Pete sensed the reversi power in his body. Nanao was surprised that female wombs can collect mana and Oliver stopped her from pulling up her skirt. Suddenly Tulio appeared and he wasn't there to argue. He warned Oliver and said to take care of himself because he knew that Cyrus was after them. In class, Stacy faced Pete in a duel and she was in a bad mood. Then the fight began and Oliver told Pete to focus on his enemy's movement. Unfortunately, Pete was hit with a strong attack, but Pete didn't give up. Stacy looked down at him and Guy said he was allowed to use magic in the duel. Stacy didn't believe Pete could win and he attacked with lightning magic. The others noticed that Pete wasn't using his reversi power. Meanwhile, Stacy demonstrated her powers and she showed the difference between the two sorcerers. Stacy was angry because Pete had embarrassed her in class in front of her beloved uncle. Then Oliver said that Pete hasn't given up yet and he can win. Suddenly Pete attacked and he dodged Stacy's attack. Before he could use his final blow, the time for the duel ran out. Pete was sad because he couldn't land a single punch, but his friends cheered him up. Suddenly Stacy became angry and Michelle wondered why she didn't like her. After that, Tulio showed up and he said that he didn't have to be sad because he did his best. In the evening, Katie visited the giant troll and she received a letter. She learned that Vera wanted to give Katie her workshop and she believed it was her way of apologizing. But Michelle and Oliver thought that it was too early to get an own place because the labyrinth is dangerous for first years. Unfortunately, they couldn't change Katie's decision and she told them that she planned to change the world. She told them that demi-humans are being killed and magical faunas are being treated badly. As a result, Nanao decided to support Katie and she hoped that Katie will be able to change the world. Katie was touched by her friend, and the others also agreed to take the workshop. In the end, Oliver said that she had to keep her promise, and he also agreed that they would take over Vera's workshop. The following evening they explored the labyrinth and Guy was worried about the path. Oliver said that they should be careful because there are a lot of monsters in the labyrinth. On the way to the workshop they discovered many magical fauna, and Guy found most of the monsters disgusting. Later they came to a path that was very dangerous. Katie warned her friends, saying that the spines aren't thick enough to kill them. Afterwards she used a smoke and they were able to cross the path. Suddenly a trap was activated and they managed to cross the dangerous path safely. Guy said his butt hurts and he blamed Katie for his stabbed butt. He punished Katie and Nanao said she smelled something delicious in the air. Afterwards, they found older students roasting delicious meat. The Labyrinth Gourmet Club introduced themselves and asked if they wanted to join their club. Meanwhile, a member found another monster to eat and one of the members had a stomach ache from the barbecue. They continued walking and Katie wondered who these weirdos were. Michelle said that the leader of the club was Kevin, who is very famous. Suddenly Guy felt like having his own barbecue and they went out to buy meat. The merchant showed them delicious smoky barbecue pork and she gave them a discount on their goods. They couldn't refuse the offer and bought a large amount of the goods. Later they found the entrance to their new secret hideout and they discovered a seal. Katie opened the secret door with a spell and she wanted to show them the new secret base. They were surprised by Vera's workshop and were excited to use the base. However, Katie said that they can do anything at the place and they will have a lot of fun together. Then they all said what they planned to do at the base. Pete annoyed Guy and he got angry. After the delicious barbecue, Katie was worried about Michelle. She said everything is fine, and she is happy because she had a lot of fun with them. Michelle thought they could give the base a name and they loved the idea. Suddenly Nanao said for them all to gather together with their blades. Then they formed a circle and crossed their blades. Nanao said that they call that a sword rose in their homeland. She suggested they name the base the Sword Roses. Everyone liked Nanao's chosen name, and Michelle was looking forward to the future with her friends. Everyone blushed, and Oliver said she didn't have to be embarrassed. This is how the Sword Roses were founded, and Oliver memorized the moment so he would never forget the day. In the meantime, Stacy beat up a sorcerer, and she received his medal after the fight. 
Following this, we see Oliver's friends and they were happy that Katie showed them the workshop of Vera. Guy praised Katie and he realized that she had already fallen asleep. Meanwhile, Stacy wanted to prove to Michelle that she wasn't her replacement and Cyrus was watching her. The following morning, Oliver helped Nanao with her training and he asked if she was able to control her spell blade that she used on that day. She replied that she hasn't been able to activate the spell blade again since then, so Oliver told her that they will practice spellcraft. She wanted to fight with swords, but Oliver said she had to learn the basics of magic first. Suddenly she heard Guy screaming. The reason for this was that Katie had brought a huge troll into the hideout. Then they learned that the troll came to the hiding place on its own. Vera replied that she had brought the troll here, and they were surprised to see Vera. She didn't want to cause any trouble and just helped Katie get the troll to the workshop. Meanwhile, Pete woke up and was frightened by a severed hand. The magic hand was Vera's severed hand, and Vera called it Millie Hand. After that, Michelle asked about the reason why she gave Katie her workshop. Vera replied that she sees it as an investment because Katie has great potential. Following this, Katie told about her permission to watch out for the troll, and he liked Katie too. She called him Marco, and he said that Katie had talked a lot about them. Then Oliver said to Marco that from today on they are friends too. Later, Vera showed them the quickest way to the workshop and explained to them that the entrance is not always usable. Before Vera left, Katie thanked her and she said goodbye. However, they went to explore the labyrinth and Michelle said not to go any further. She said that the second layer is much more dangerous and is called Bustling Forest. Suddenly Stacy appeared and she said that she was waiting for Michelle to get her medal. Marco wanted to protect his friends and Katie calmed him down. Oliver's team was then challenged by Stacy to a tag team match. Nanao was excited and she wanted to fight with Michelle against Stacy and Faye. Unfortunately, Oliver was worried that they would be at a disadvantage, but Michelle agreed to the challenge. Suddenly Cyrus showed up and he wanted to join Stacy's team. Oliver explained to Nanao that Cyrus comes from a family that is very talented at fighting. Then he insulted Michelle and managed to make her angry with his rude words. As a result, they accepted the challenge of fighting three versus three. Faye liked the idea because Cyrus is fighting Nanao, which increases her chances of defeating Michelle. Suddenly, Cyrus planned to lead them to a battlefield. Marco promised to protect Katie and the others so they wouldn't get hurt in the fight. Following this, they went to the battlefield with Cyrus and he led them through the second layer. Once on the battlefield, Cyrus suggested that they use the anti-lethality spells to have their strength. Then the fight started and Oliver blinded Faye because he planned to fight against Cyrus. Faye said that he will take care of Nanao and she should focus on her fight against Michelle. So the fight began between the two cousins and Michelle wanted to know why Stacy hated her. She refused to tell her the reasons and Michelle easily fended off all of her attacks. Meanwhile, Nanao admired their fighting style and Faye told her about the Martin McFly fighting style. Suddenly, Faye started casting a fire spell and he used the moment to run away. Then we see Oliver and he attacked Cyrus with powerful fire spells. Oliver immediately activated a speed spell and he ran towards Cyrus. At the last moment, Cyrus dodged Oliver's attack and they exchanged powerful spells in battle. Suddenly, Cyrus said that he had already suspected that Oliver wasn't special and Oliver annoyed him. Cyrus decided to attack Oliver and Oliver tried to lure him into a trap. He managed to predict his attack, and he looked down on Oliver's fighting style. However, Oliver attacked his opponent with the Flash Wisp spell, and he combined it with a Body Enhancement spell. As a result, he successfully injured Cyrus and showed him his strength. Cyrus got angry that Oliver underestimated him and Katie had a bad feeling as she looked at the sky. Meanwhile, Faye was exhausted, and Nanao chased him. Stacy showed up to support Faye, and they were surrounded, Suddenly, Stacy asked if he was willing to give her victory at any cost. He remembered when Stacy took him on as a servant when he lost his parents. He replied that he is always on her side and she began to activate Son Goku's Genki Dama spell. As a result, Fei transformed into a werewolf that increased his power to over 9,000. Fei attacked Michelle and she tried to stop him. Nanao then attacked him, but her attack was also ineffective. So the two girls came up with a plan, and Nanao began a second attack on Fei. Michelle supported Nanao, and she created a barrier that protected Nanao. Stacy said she will surpass Michelle here and Uncle will accept her. Following this, we see Oliver and Cyrus asked if he wasn't worried about his friends. He replied that he believes in his friends and will defeat Cyrus. Meanwhile, Michelle praised her cousin, but she gave Stacy the advice to turn her servant back because as half-blood he suffers from the transformation. At that moment, 
Stacy remembered her childhood with Faye and wondered why her father had never praised her. She thought it was because she wasn't related to her father by blood. Unfortunately, Stacy decided to keep fighting because she was jealous of Michelle for having a carefree childhood. Nanao protected Michelle and she said that she was using her kindness in the wrong way. Michelle was aware of her friend's words and she promised to end the fight against her cousin. Then we see Oliver and Cyrus managed to overwhelm Oliver with his power. Oliver said that he didn't intimidate him and that his way of looking down on him was similar to Andrew. Suddenly Cyrus became angry hearing the words and he activated a spell to defeat Oliver. Unfortunately, his attack failed because Oliver used a spell. Following this, Stacy decided to strike the finishing blow with Faye to end the fight. Stacy ordered her servant to charge at the two and she focused on Michelle. She underestimated Michelle and she attacked with a powerful lightning spell. As a result, the two fell down and now stopped Faye saying the fight was over. Michelle explained that she had used the same spell in a different version, but Stacy didn't accept her loss against Michelle and she tried to launch an attack again. Meanwhile, Oliver gained the upper hand in the fight against Cyrus and he became angry because of his tricks. Then we see Michelle and she showed her cousin that she lacks metal training. Cyrus tried to lure Oliver into a trap, but he predicted his move and kicked him in the stomach. He also cast a wind spell that brought him victory against Cyrus. Meanwhile, Stacy was still trying to win against Michelle, but she knocked the sword out of her hand. She cried and Faye cheered her up. Then Michelle asked if Stacy hated her the whole time. Faye explained that it wasn't her fault, it was her family's fault, because Stacy wasn't acknowledged by her father. Nanao learned that Stacy is Michelle's biological sister and she was sent to the secondary family. Additionally, Faye said that Stacy learned the truth when she turned 10, and since then she has had the goal of having her biological father accept her. So they learned about Stacy's circumstances, and Nanao tried to cheer her up. She explained that every person is unique, and she was never a replacement for Michelle. Then we see Cyrus, and he told Oliver that he will tell them about his childhood.